What is up, Tooligans? It's your boy Two Times here at Pro Tools Approved. And I just wanted to put up my Impact Wrench and Ratchet collection. I don't have many of these because I don't use them too much at work. Uh, just for wrenching and ratcheting on my cars, uh, trucks uh, when they break down and such. You know, the occasional gigantic lag bolt or whatnot. Um, let's uh, do the quick rundown real quick here and start with the Makita XWT1238. If you haven't been suckered into this yet, don't ever buy it. It's a paperweight. I mean, it's small, it's compact, it's got digital speeds, bolt tightening, it's 3 8 and it's Fisher Price. I mean it is this is the single worst Makita tool ever made. Why don't I tell you how I really feel? And then next is the DeWalt DCF 901 12 volt half inch. It's nice, it's compact. I think Torque Test Channel rated this at 450 breakaway foot pounds. I'd have to double check that, but it's nice, it's small, it gets in everywhere. The Makita XWT14, talk about tech that is packed into this. There are so many different settings on this, I've got to refer to the manual sometimes. Half inch, mid torque. Great. For the longest time, at the king of the hill is the DCF 891, half inch mid torque from the DeWalt, three speed. Big, plenty of power for anything that you need it for. The Metabo half inch. W R one eight D B D L two IP fifty six rated Cobalt right angle impact driver. Check out what Torque Test Channel has to say about this and why even though it's gigantic, it's the best right angle impact driver there is. The ratchets that I use, the DeWalt 12 volts, the 3 8 inch DCF 503, quarter inch DCF 504, and recently picked up the Milwaukee 3 8 high speed. The 2567-20. That's it. Not really running down any stats or anything. Just a quick, this is what I use. What impacts do you guys use? Which one's your favorite? Which ones do you hate? Do you want to see me review any of these in depth? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for the support.